In fall of 2009, Indiana University completed construction on a $32 million state-of-the-art data center located on its Bloomington campus. The new data center provides a safe and secure home for IU's rapidly expanding computer resources, offering nearly four times the space and ten times the electrical capacity of the previous facility. The single-story, 82,000-square-foot building includes an enterprise pod and a research pod, each with 10,000 square feet of raised floor space used to house vital IU computing and networking systems. The building's two flywheels and two diesel generators offer protection from electrical damage and power outage. The data center's valuable contents are further protected by features such as advanced fire suppression and security systems and an F5 tornado-resistant design. The new data center research pod is home to IU's high-performance computing equipment and TerraGrid resources, including the Big Red and Quarry supercomputers, the data capacitor, and the massive data storage system. IU has a real data center now. As we are growing, we were running into space limitations, power limitations, and cooling limitations in the Rubel Computing Center. We just couldn't add any more equipment. In this new facility, we have a, a contiguous space for research equipment that makes it easy to grow over time. With this facility, it was really designed for um, hosting supercomputers and hosting uh, storage systems, and we have a lot more flexibility in, in what we can do in the future. When we add big systems, it takes a lot of power and a lot of cooling, and it's difficult to renovate that in place Moving our old equipment into the new building was a blast. We moved 41 racks, 1,344 servers, and almost 7,000 cores of computing equipment. We started on a Monday morning at 7 a.m. In approximately seven hours, we were able to move all the equipment over physically. After that, we uh, reconnected all the cabling, um, replaced a lot of the failed components that, that went bad during the move and were able to come back up uh, Saturday evening about 11.45. It was difficult. We planned with uh, our contractor that was our general contractor to move everything uh, for well over a year. We designed and built a new research network infrastructure in the new facility before we ever moved anything over. We laid over 13 miles of networking fiber and cable to make that all happen. We also have uh, 11,000 square feet uh, of raised floor space, so we don't have the space limitations uh, like we did in the old facility. Having uh, dedicated fiber to Indianapolis through iLight has really enabled us to, to take our, our grants and our audience to the next level, um, connects us to uh, the National Lambda Rail to Starlight in Chicago to Internet 2 and being able to connect to these national and international networks really puts us on on the leading edge of, uh, of research and enables us to to acquire systems that can serve a national audience and a local audience. Current projects that we've been recently awarded such as the Future Grid specifically we have a place that we can put the hardware and the systems in place in an environment that's sustainable over a long period of time. As you know, the data center's design is built to withstand environmental challenges that we have here in southern Indiana. It was designed for expansion in mind. Had we not built the data center now and moved in in October of 2009, we would not have a place to house the future grid equipment. And so it's absolutely key that we're in the building now and up and running so we can bring those systems in, integrate them with our existing systems, and then have our users, whether they're local or national, have access to those environments.